Hello! Halloween is coming and I am going to make a pumpkin pie which is a spooky food anyway this beauty um, the description of the pumpkin pie is legends say that they used to make these pies out of something other than pumpkin in the past I have no idea what they are talking about, so I'm going to make just your good old pumpkin pie. I'm going to start by the crust. I've got some butter, flour, egg and I'm going to add in just a teaspoon of sugar because this is for a sweet um, kind of pie. Now I'm going to mix this all together. The butter is softened, so let's just mix this all together don't over mix it that's my advice the crust is done just trying to make it shape it into a bowl you know, this is going to rest in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. That's the time to prepare the filling, the pumpkin filling. Now for the filling, I've got some sugar, some pumpkin puree, eggs, pumpkin spice and some evaporated milk. Just gonna beat this all together not going to add anything strange because apparently that was in the past anyway so I'm just gonna make your regular pumpkin pie I need a whole tablespoon this all together and this will be the filling for the pie delicious my pie dish just going to put some oil in it so the crust doesn't stick you can use a kitchen paper to do this this is ready I'm going to roll off the dough. I'm going to sprinkle some flour on the surface. Sprinkle some more on top. And also on my rolling pin. And just roll this out. Turning it sometimes. And if you need more flour, just add some flour. I'm going to shape it into a circle that covers the bottom and the sides of the pie dish. Okay, I ended up rolling this not just to cover the bottom and sides of the, uh, the pie dish, but also um, I didn't want a really thick pie crust, so I rolled it to a half centimeter thick. Let me grab my pie dish to be closer. Let's start to use the rolling pin as help to put this soft dough in the pie dish. Now we are going to slowly guide, guide the dough in. Don't stretch it or else this will stretch back. Just guide it in. 
Now I remember the sides of this pie are a bit, um, I don't know, cut to look spooky, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, to do that with this, with this dough, because it falls, it's soft. No matter, I'll figure out something. Now for that, I'm going to use a scissor, a pair of scissors. So how am I going to do this? Like this, maybe? Just randomly cutting pieces of the crust. This is probably going to shrink a bit when it's cooking, so it's. I think it's going to be more noticeable after after being baked. Now I'm going to prickle the bottom of the crust with a fork. By the way, the my oven is preheated to 110 um, degrees C. The pie is going to that temperature for 15 minutes, then I'm going to lower it for 175 degrees C. And I'm gonna leave the pie to cook for further 15 minutes. I'm sorry, 50 minutes. My pie came out of the oven for about six hours now, maybe, or seven hours. Um, it's cooled completely. The dough didn't shrink, the pastry didn't shrink the way I wanted to, but that's okay. You can see how it turned out. It's pretty much like this. Now, for... Um, the drawing, the, the eyes, the nose and the mouth, I am going to use some raspberry jam um, and that's it. Okay, in this uh, drawing we have two triangles and uh, two triangles as eyes and another little one as nose and the mouth is a bit um, asymmetrical. That's what I'm going to try to do. Just going to leave this here as a guide. make this a bit more liquid and I'm gonna use a chopstick to try to shape it okay maybe I'll I'll just use the, the spoon it's pointing a bit towards the center now let's see if I can yeah okay that's better there's nothing on the spoon The triangle on the right is a bit bigger than the one on the left, so that's okay, that's what I'm trying to do. For the nose, the nose is a bit smaller than here. I chose raspberry jam, but I'm not sure if this goes well with the pumpkin pie. Something like this. Yes? Yeah. 
this. Dude, this is taking me so much time. Goes up and another square down, okay. Pretty well shaped at first. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is my pumpkin pie from Spooky Foods from Nail Pets. A shame the crust didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but that's okay, no matter. Here you have it pumpkin pie. I hope you like this. Await a taste test. Okay, let's have. A taste test. With the sorry, um, raspberry jam. And this is not all over the pie, the, straw, the um, raspberry jam. It gives it a nice sweet taste. Doesn't taste like raspberry, doesn't ruin the taste of the pumpkin pie. Because the pumpkin pie filling is not that sweet. So this is actually pretty good. I'm going to give this five stars because I love pumpkin pie. Yeah, five stars for me. This is really good. I really like this. I hope you have enjoyed this. Bye!